Hi, Alex here from Rebeloper.com and today I am going to show you how you can set up many of my source codes that I am currently selling. So without further ado, let's get started. Okay, uh, one question I hear a lot and uh, we will discuss this in this tutorial is how to actually set up uh, many of my source codes and they are called Game X and you can purchase them on Code Canyon, Udemy and on uh, my site. And these are the Game X uh, type of games. Uh, source codes. Uh, so remember this with these will not uh, um, make sense for all the others but if you have downloaded one or purchased one color color cloud avoiding pop me gather find the color color challenge whack till you can and so on then this applies to you well mostly for well for the latest version so go ahead and download uh, your uh, a project your source code be it code canyon udemy or our site and uh, let us just wait for that and let's see uh, what we get here so i would just unzip that and again uh, go ahead and uh, take a look at uh, this uh, structure and you need to have this xcode workspace so that is what we are talking about uh, l uh, before this version you could open it with the Xcode project but I have added a few well a few cocoa pods uh, to accommodate AdMob interstitials so we need this pod file and uh, we are going to open our project with the Xcode workspace from now on so let's open this up and let's see uh, what happens okay uh, let's try to uh, build and run on my uh, uh, phone here and it says it uh, of course it crashes and it says dependency analysis error and uh, unable to read module and so on so why is this that is because the pods are not installed uh, onto your workspace and this is uh, the way to go we are not sending over pods to you uh, we are not sending pods to our github repositories uh, you will need to download the current pods but that is pretty simple and we are going to uh, go through uh, this today so go ahead and open up terminal and uh, next up you need to navigate to your root folder. Now the root folder is the folder that holds your Xcode workspace. So type in CD and the space and just simply drag and drop the folder. Hit return and we are inside our folder. And now we already have a pod file so we don't need to initialize our uh, pod file. All you need to do is install. So pod install. Okay, hit return and all of the pods will be installed. Now, if you don't have CocoaPods installed onto your computer, then go ahead and open up uh, your browser and go to CocoaPods.org. Coco I believe that is, yeah, that is it, CocoaPods.org. And just scroll down and install with sudo jam install CocoaPods. For the sumo, you will need to enter your password for the computer and that is it you can then go ahead and call this pod install now once it is completed let us just go back to our xcode project and let's build and run again and see if it builds without any issues well errors issues may occur from cocoa pods or any other but we should not have any uh, problems with that okay build has succeeded and I can see that it is building on my device now let's wait for that and here we go it is working great now 
uh, one thing that I want to point out is uh, this new setup. So you will need to, of course, as usual, set up your in-app purchases leaderboards. You already know that how to do. Uh, this here we have our Google service info playlist file. So how do we generate that? So you need to go and uh, go to uh, uh, Google or AdMob rather, AdMob, Google, AdMob, and you need to uh, sign into your AdMob account and you need to create, and let me just uh, go here, you need to create uh, two uh, IDs, well, three IDs, your AdMob application ID, and your banner ID and an interstitial ad unit ID. So let us just create this. And after that, we will link to Firebase and download the Google service info playlist file. So this is what we are going to do. Go to apps. Let's add an app. Uh, it is not yet published. App name. Okay, it's an iOS app. Let's add this. Let's create an ad unit ID and let's select a banner and let's create another ad unit ID, an interstitial one. Let's create that. And now you see that here we have our app ID and here we have our interstitial ID. Now let's click on done and you can of course see interstitial ID here and the top banner ID. And if you want to grab the app unit ID, just go to the app overview and, uh, or maybe the app settings. Yes, the app settings. And here you have the app ID. Now under the app ID, you will have this Firebase link. So it says not linked we need to link it. So link to Firebase. First of all, let's give a new bundle identifier to our project. Okay, let's wait for it to repair, creating provisioning profile, and we are good to go. Now, this is your very own project. Okay, let's copy out our bundle ID, go back to add mob and paste it in there. Let's hit continue and let's create a new Firebase project and let's name this, uh, let's tap near that and hit continue. Okay, now it is building up the Firebase project for you. Okay, this may take a while, um, usually 20 to 30 seconds. And after that, you need to download here the config file. So let's click on that. It will open up a new uh, tab. And here you can download the Google service info playlist by file, but it has already been downloaded automatically. So let's go back to Xcode and delete the current one. Uh, let's delete it and move it to trash. And now let's drag and drop our info playlist file. Okay, and make sure copy items if needed is checked, create groups is checked, and add to targets is checked also. Now you see that here I have a six. Now this uh, I have downloaded multiple times. What you need to do if this occurs is that you need to delete that from the name of the file. And as you can see, the bundle ID is this newly created bundle identifier. And that is all you have to do in order to set up these CocoaPods uh, that have been added in the latest version of uh, GameX uh, source codes. Now, uh, go ahead and take a look at the setup and the smart ad mob constants and of course the font and the music and sounds folders uh, to uh, round up the whole setup of these types of games but that is it now you know how you can set up cocoa pods in a pre-existing project
Hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, go ahead and give it a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel. And if you want to uh, purchase these kind of codes, go ahead and contact me or just find them on the internet, on Code Canyon, Udemy, or on our site, reveloper.com, or just contact me and I will get in touch with you with the necessary links. So go ahead, like this uh, video, subscribe, and I will see you in the next one.